70, I mean, that's right around when Bush is the head of the CIA, if I'm not correct. Right around then. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah, was CIA uh, director, what year? Let's see. He went from CIA director and then he, you know, was vice president. And now, uh, now he's in hell. He's, I'm sure he has a leadership position there. <laughs> yeah, he's probably, he's probably running for president. He probably tried yeah. to get Hinckley to assassinate he's, he's, Satan. He's running for Satan. Do they have hell for reptiles? Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was in one till 76. Yeah, that's so it says 76 to yeah. 77. So George, he's only so there George a year. George H.W. Bush is behind this yeah, shit, so dude. He was probably behind. Behind at getting this senator killed. The only the only congressman to die in the line of duty ever. Yeah, ever. <laughs> yeah, I could see Bush being behind that. And he's, he's only there a year. That's so And crazy. then it also says he served from 42 to 45. Aren't you the one who for four they years? he was the shadow CIA director for a long no, time. No, 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 no. No, I don't think that's what it's called. We'll, we'll get back to that. But so, so the CIA, the CIA, uh, basically hated this guy. Hated his guts. And they sent him down, basically, on a suicide mission, right? A th- on a fact-finding mission. Yeah, a to fact go finding find out the facts. Suicide yeah. mission, right? So they, right. Yeah, yes. They knew they were they knew they were going to kill that dude. Yeah. Never let a tragedy go to waste. Dude, yeah. they probably knew that the Jonestown massacre was about to happen. Well, there was a CIA guy accompanying him in his uh in No. His on- actually, Robert Dwyer. No, Richard Dwyer and Rich, he Richard Dwyer. He was already down there. He was he like He was already down there. He on one of the tapes uh while I think while they're committing suicide, Jim Jones is like, "Get Dwyer out of here before something bad happens." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was the final t- yeah, the final time he you heard Jim Jones' voice is him saying that. Get Dwyer out of here. And there's actually footage you can watch Dwyer basically duck out right before the shootings happen. Yeah. So the big the big thing that's very interesting about this whole thing is that um let me find this thing real quick. Somebody broke this down on like how insane this whole thing is. Uh about how like basically that you you know that the CIA knew was in on it because here's how it goes right this is from um, Jonestown.sdsu.education okay uh, dude look at San Diego State getting fucking weird right so it basically goes on that that they sent a, a helicopter down or they sent a plane down to investigate what happened. 25 minutes after it takes off, it says mass suicide had gone on. How'd the CIA know that? Yeah. They weren't down there, supposedly. They'd just taken off. There's no way they could have gotten there in that amount of time. No cell phones, none of that bullshit. No cell back phones, then. none of that bullshit. Right? So, yeah, they're. The, autopsies are very suspicious. Yeah, some well, of them have been thing, injected. Dude. Yeah, I mean, like, some of them showed that they weren't. They didn't die from suicide. They were basically murdered. Yeah. They were, yeah. Injected. They were injected or shot with crossbows. Yeah. I mean, and the weird thing is when the when the Guyanese army came in, they they counted 400 bodies. Yep. And, and then that number grew to 900. And their explanation was that the bodies were stacked in a way where the 400 bodies were covering up an additional 500 bodies, which, I mean, I guess it could be kids and stuff, but, I mean, that really doesn't make any sense at all, you know? When they said that, all I thought about was a 300 movie. You yeah. know how they're all stacked <laughs> up as a wall, and yeah. then they all, like, yeah. they're, they're all behind alive? That's yeah. all I thought about. What, did you just miscount 500 people? So this, right. is, this is on the day. At 3.04 a.m. on November 19th, uh, the C-14 medevac left Charleston, uh, North Carolina, for... Ghania, Ghania. Uh, 25 <laughs> minutes later, at 3:29 a.m., uh, the JCS, which is just what is that? Um, uh, hold on. Of course, I can't remember that right now. But they basically, um, they have in their notes about the night. They basically. Um, Oh, here it is. It's the Joint Chiefs of Staff in their in their basically their chronicle. They chronic that uh that when this shit all came down. 
So basically, they put in their, that app. Uh, the, the plane took off at 3.04, okay? 25 minutes later, at 3.29, uh, the CIA reports, CIA NOI1, W-O-N, uh, reports mass suicide at Jonestown. How is that possible? How they knew. That- yeah, prior knowledge. That's how that's possible. Yeah, they knew. And you that's know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of uh, Vegas, which just happened in Vegas, where they yeah. just laid everything out right there, up front, right in front of you. And yeah. you're like, how do you know all this already? It's very, it's just very interesting, dude. And they took out the guy that was trying to handcuff them because they're the most gangster of gangsters. The CIA don't give up. There's a lot of good people at the CIA, man. But there's this small fraction that just don't give a fuck. Dude, Senator Ryan was trying to pass that bill, you know, to, to give him veto power over the CIA. And that that bill was quashed before his body came back to the United States. The bill was gone. So they basically, the CIA, who could be implicated in this thing, like always, sets the table for what we believe is happening, which is a mass suicide. But right. Nobody knows what really happened because the autopsies were so bad. This country yes. is so half-assed backwards. And what mm-hmm. we also saw that in the uh, in the Vegas shooting, right? They didn't release the reports on how each person died. Everybody yeah. died from what they say, a gun, a head wound or a gunshot wound. Like, they didn't release any other information. Because yeah, anytime the CIA is involved, you're never going to get a straight answer. None of it will ever make sense. And all the one common denominator is always the CIA. Or the FBI, who I hear now is being basically infiltrated by the CIA. That's how fucking gangster. And you know, it took like a week for family members to get the bodies yeah. from all the way over yeah. there. What means the bodies, them, they're rotting. A lot of them. A lot of them they cremated without asking the family's permission. Yeah, yeah. that's fucked up. That's a huge cover up, dude. That's a huge cover up. Yeah. So dude, they said there were injection marks where people were injected with cyanide and it'll be between their shoulder blades, like not somewhere you could reach and do it to yourself, obviously, you know. That's ma- that's murder. Yeah, I, th- this was basically their attempt to see if M- how MK Ultra and brainwashing works. When See they- if you can get socialists to kill themselves. Dude, I think that's what I think they got Jim Jones. I think they got him on some like LSD mind control shit, perhaps when he first went out to San Francisco. Yeah, dude, when I, I think and he I really changes a lot. He changed a lot, and I think that when them having that Pee Wee Herman shit on him, like I think that they, they kind of got got their hooks into him with that. Now, was he... Yeah, dude. dude. If you're injecting LSD, shit's changing. Yeah, I mean, dude. <laughs> Shit is changing if you're injecting I, LSD. Look, I am, a, I am a very pro LSD. I'm not trying to say, like, you know, I'm pro LSD. But I also knew a guy who got, like, was taken way too much, a lot. And he got to... He thought the government was after him. And he, like, they found him out in the fucking... He was, like, swimming out in the ocean trying to get away from the fucking imaginary government that was after him. So if you do too much LSD, you, you lose your fucking mind. It's, you know, I think we all know that. And so he was yeah. injecting that. That's like huge doses. Yeah. I mean, like, and who was the guy who basically uh, attacked the sen- the congressman with a knife? There's only one guy convicted in this whole thing. In the, yeah. ho- in the whole thing, one guy got convicted. And he was uh, convicted of basically harming a sen- uh, 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 congressman. That's what and it you was. Got a, and you have 900 some odd people dead. And right? one guy gets convicted for assault. And he, yeah. like, he basically gets out of some of it because he used, um, he used a defense of brainwashing. Yeah. And it worked, which is basically. Well, obviously, he wasn't that brainwashed because he didn't commit suicide. No, but he, he <laughs> that's true. But he, he killed. He's like he killed a bunch of people out there, dude. Like he, yeah. he he tried to take out this, the uh, the Congress. Well, the, well, people said that he was all that he didn't want to do it. That he was all nervous and crying. He's like, but I have to do it. Yeah, Kinda, he got made brainwashing. And, yeah. yeah, it's dude. If you look at these, all these guys who do these shootings, they all have they're all like they all go to some weird like kind of youth detention center. Weird shit happens there. They're all, uh, they all have weird kind of, they all say they hear voices and yeah. they're, they're all on prescription medication. It's all the same you, shit. You, you ever see that? 
<laughs> and they all <laughs> fucked their teachers. No, none, no, of, none of them. None. Dude. Remember none. None of them. Dude, you dude. guys are totally right. You guys are totally right. You got alone one dude, gun. Dude, you ever, you ever see that Batman shooter when he was in court? Oh yeah. Dude, and, he's just completely like drugged out of his mind. And he, uh, and dude, and his dad was about <laughs> yeah, to like drop some. Yeah. Weird shit. His dad was on some next level shit. Who's the guy? The only guy to get killed. He had to do 20 years. But it wasn't even for the death of everybody. It was just for the death of that one, that one senator. And when he tried, when his, when his lawyer uh, tried to uh, put into evidence that the, that Jim Jones was a CIA asset, the, the, the judge wouldn't let him do it. Unbelievable to me. Unbelievable really? to me. Unbelievable. Yeah, they wouldn't let him show, even though there's all this evidence. They. Totally what I mean, like, dude, the stuff you guys brought up with him just basically jacking off at a movie theater, which is a uh, pedo gate shit. That's what they yeah. do with pedo gate. Is they get you, they find you doing something weird, and then they uh, yeah. they blackmail you. And they you. own you. And he gets off. Who else got off? Snoop Dogg, same thing. Like he Snoop Dogg did he, that. He's on some pizza gate shit. I wouldn't doubt. I mean, they're all at that level. They're all kind of crazy, uh, allegedly. But uh, he was up on a murder rap that he, they thought he was oh, gone. Oh, okay. And he got yeah, off, that. and that's yeah, why yeah. Tupac hated him. Oh, I um, thought you were oh. fucking kids. There's a, there's a guy that hates you every time you say that. <laughs> I know. He's like, fuck that. They were best friends. They were not best yeah, friends. Yeah, so fucked. You know? <laughs> they were not best friends. Um, Yeah. So, And there was even some Russian collusion with this Jones stuff. But, yeah, man. It was a crazy thing. I mean, once again, you know, we see a dark hand involved in this incident and you know what uh, a thousand people dying that's not that much that's not that crazy for the cia they've been involved in crazier shit they you know it's, it's like a smaller version of like what you were saying about uh the hitler thing where they create this this communist you know because everyone knew about uh the people's temple that shit was all in the news and so it was like hey we can create this image of hey this is an idealized socialist <clears throat> community and look what happens they all go crazy and kill themselves yeah see why socialism's bad everybody yeah like yeah you know it's told and it scares everybody look at the hippies they're doing right. drugs now everybody's dead Right, mm -hmm. nobody wants to go start their own commune yeah. after they hear about fucking Jonestown. We can push that agenda and kill this congressman that's a thorn on our side yeah. at the same time. Two birds, Why not? Man. Two that birds. Successful operation. Yeah. You know, and it's just, it's just crazy because they do that shit, dude. They do, they, it's just like, they, they know how they emotionally get a response out of people. And it's unbelievable to me. You know, it's unbelievable to me. And uh, I always expect that, that this is the podcast that uh, pisses them off. So hopefully this won't be it. We're just talking about shit that's already out there. Uh, this is where I like to start a new thing I call, I'm not suicidal. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to kill myself. I'm happy to be alive. I love everything. Uh -oh. oh, man. You made it to the real level, dude. Yes. Yeah, dude. That's, that's a good level. Dude, I saw a video that said you were a flat earth shill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have, seen, have no. you seen that video? No, no, no. I love it, you're, they, It says that you're trying to hide the flat earth, dude. There's a video about you. I, so I do. Be, so he'd be around. I'll earth send it. Shield. I'll find it. Or a round earth shill. Round yeah. Earth shill. I'm a gay. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a uh, gay juice shill for sure. Guys. Yeah. You guys are great. Too. One more time. Tell them about. Tell our listeners about your podcast. Uh, good morning, Jonestown. Uh, it's funny. We have a high production value, and we work really hard on it. Uh, There's all kind of stuff in it. There's music. Uh, we do. Um, we do some pro. We have some real sponsors, and then we do some fake sponsors, and you can have fun figuring out which ones are which. We got a cease and desist letter from AdamandEve.com. Why? <laughs> Why? Because we we said they were a sponsor and they weren't, and then we shit on them, and then we shit on them again. And then they sent us a letter in the mail. <laughs> and That's then we so shit on them one more time and hung it up. So we just have a weird comedy show. It's mainly yeah, comedy, but we talk about all this weird shit know. too. We, we got a pizza. Well, we don't know for sure. We, yeah, they got there's they got local, crazy there's titles. A, there's a local pizza restaurant here, and uh, we uh, we joked about them running some like Pizzagate shit, and then like a week later they closed. We don't know if we had anything to do with it. 
dude. What we like. Take, <laughs> take credit for. I would if I was. All right, we did it, dude. All right, guys, you guys are the best. I appreciate you guys coming on. And midgets and shit. Like, he was just killing stupid people, man. Okay, again, like, not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. Yeah. No, he was bad. He was a piece of shit, but he just took it out. I mean, killing like, stupid he, people. He was, I mean, that, like, they ruin everything. Okay? Yeah, I mean, he was right. like the best version of a hit, yeah, hit yeah. Oh uh, Yeah, okay. But I think, <laughs> don't quote me on that. I think, him, I think him slinging all the dick really kept his numbers down. Yeah. Oh, dude. You know? 1100 people is nothing because like hitler's got those those micro penis numbers it's my theory that where teachers hook up with the students at high schools those those schools don't have school shootings because nobody wants to shoot up a school after you busted a nut you know what i'm saying it's like they're actually crime <laughs> fighting they're yes. actually crime fighting um so so uh it's getting crazier and crazier uh it's getting crazier and crazier He's out of control. Uh, this set, here's where things go bad. Here's where things go bad. He basically has, um, there's people in, in, in the media in the United States are talking about him. He is, uh, you know. You get some reporters to come down, right? Well, no, I, no, yeah. no, he wanted reporters to come down? Well, at one he point he said no, and then he's like, you know what, come through, and then he had welcome signs when they showed up. Okay, so 1970, August, 1978, Jones's health is declining, okay? He's telling everybody he's got lung cancer, but he's been abusing injectable, injectable LSD. Injectable. Yeah. <laughs> dude, he was on another level, dude. Yeah. Valium, and, Quaaludes, stimulus for many years. Very dude, and when the news crew came down there, one lady was able to slip a letter to somebody yeah. and basically like, we're being held captive here. Congressman came down, right? Leo Ryan. Yeah. Leo Ryan. yeah so the at the height of their power, they had a thousand members at, at, at the commune uh, in 1978. November 14th, 1978, Leo Ryan, the senator, congressman, dude, this, excuse me, this, and dude, this could That's the whole story that's right there. That shit gets fucking that's, that is this is when it gets the real. whole story, dude. That's the whole, all you need to know about it. Yeah. Because this guy. Is basically, basically taking JFK's uh, right. playbook. Yeah he, was to, yeah, he was trying to take down the CIA, CIA, or at least like make a more transparent. He was trying to get Congress to have veto power over CIA and covert missions. So he was. So at the end of the day, he would could say, you know, if they're trying to do some Bay of Pigs shit, they, that Congress could say, no, nope, basically, the ability to stop the CIA from doing whatever the hell they want to yeah. do. He was pushing a bill to do that. And you and know what? Then, I, I agree with him, dude. I mean, absolutely. What? I agree with absolutely. The CIA, the CIA didn't. And that's yeah. why he was the one who was sent on a fact-finding mission to Guyana. Here's what happened, dude. As a congressman, he, uh, I forget where I got this from. It's, uh, this, this guy on Scribs. Uh, I'll find his. I'll put his. Uh, I'll put his link to his thing in the uh, in the in the podcast uh, info. But it's basically he uh, he would routinely do things that others thought were unthinkable, such as dropping in at the CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia, to interrogate the spy masters about what they hadn't been telling Congress. He was like, according to sources formerly close to Ryan, he was a. Uh, they would accommodate. Oh, hold on, dude. He wanted to pass a bill, excuse me, the huge Ryan Amendment, a law that would require the CIA to notify eight separate committees of Congress, totaling some sick 200 legislators and staff prior to an undercover operation. Right? Which is like, yeah. we want to know about the black ops you're doing, which right. again, I agree with. Me too. It's yeah, great. Exactly. We should. We should do yeah. that. I mean, like, Checks and balances. Yeah, the CIA dude. shouldn't have be able to allow to do whatever the hell they want. I mean, like, dude. Speaking I, of Bush, George H. W. Bush, yeah, those right. put, sure. putting reins on that piece of shit. I mean, this is in what year? What is this? Uh, what I say? Seventy-four. 